Hello, and today... Oh, well, uh, way to go. I've already ruined the opening. Alright, well, hello, it's me, Zebo, and I am going to be playing RimWorld once again. Today it is episode 2, and uh, let's just jump right back in. Yeah, I called it YouTube yeah, for now. I'll probably change that later. But, loading? In the last episode, we got a setup going on. I suspect that today we're probably going to get attacked by raiders. Oh, hold on a second. I forgot to set my timer. Yeah, the screen is probably black for you right now. Uh, there you go. I assume you can see that. Let me just double check. Alright, I guess the, the screen probably wasn't black then. But, still. It was a little bit weird. Wait, but I'm getting a warning. Uh, never mind. Sorry, my software was just giving me a warning, and I don't know why. I don't know what I could have been doing wrong. In the last episode, I didn't talk very much, and when I did talk, I was a bit quiet. I'm going to fix that today. Uh, what to do, what to do, what to do. Hey, uh, you're repairing. We've got an equipment rack here, but we've got nothing to use with it. Um, we've got power. Also, I, I, I remembered when I was watching back to the episode the other day. I'm not going to be able to put carpet here when we research it. I'm not going to be able to put carpet here unless I sell these things because my people can't get there. But that's fine. I can sell those things. Um, we never put down a drop beacon. Uh, that's going to be under structure? No, furniture. A drop beacon lets orbital traders drop things near this. So if I build one here... Then, if I get weapons, then I can just take them here. If I get, like, metal or food, I can just take them here. Whoa. I don't know that I can do that with the number two. Apparently, you can change uh, speed times by pressing one, two, and three. I didn't know that. That's really useful. That makes things much faster. Oh, right, we researched hydroponics, I remember now. Oh, hey, here we go. Everyone knows that you don't want to stay on this rock for long, but Zebo is suggesting that you give the colony a name anyway. What should it be called? That is a good question. Um, it should be something clever. Like, um... Um, I'm drawing a blank here. I'm going to call it... Maybe I should just call it Utubia. No, that's lame. Um... Baron Colony 1. I like this. Oh! Okay, so... Our colonists will extinguish fires only if they are in home zones. Define a home zone with the orders tab under the architect menu. Alright, so I forgot to do that earlier apparently. Um, home zones are basically, you just click and drag, bam, now that's a home zone. This is a home zone. You probably want to set some of the land around the area as a home zone. And... What this does is your people will, like, I don't know, they're going to put out fires in that area, clean up the place, and so on. I want this kind of little area to be part of my home zone. There. But yeah, it's a dry thunderstorm right now, which means that this stuff isn't going to get put out on its own. Uh, do more research. What are we researching right now? Nutrient resynthesis. That's a good thing to have. Uh, structure. Walls. Okay, well, I keep on getting this thing saying, talking too long to encode. I'm not really sure what that means. I'll probably find out about that. What is this? Raiders! Ooh, I knew that was gonna happen. Raiders have landed nearby. They will prepare for a while, then attack, prepare a defense, or attack them preemptively. Just one. Barton. 
Um, his shooting skill is 5. His hand to hand is 7. He is a medieval farm oaf and an herb world urchin. Incapable of intellectual, so he can't do research. He's gullible and famous, but traits don't do anything yet. Oh yeah, and crafting, artistic, medicine, and cooking, those don't actually do anything right now in the game. So I could send Zebo after this guy. He is already injured, and I could put myself up right here. However, by the time that I get over there, he's probably going to have seen me. So I, I probably want to set him up over here, but I think I am going to attack him preemptively. What are your needs? No, you're all good. You don't have anything else to do, so why don't I just send you off? Um, it's probably in our best interest to mine this stuff. Well, I'm out. So what I'm doing right now is I'm moving my character, getting ready to get into a position to start fighting. You can take cover behind these rocks. Every shot that I have will do 10 damage to him. So it's going to take me another 5 hits. Oh! Okay, or I can get him incapacitated and take even less hits. So now that he's incapacitated, I can take him in as a prisoner. But I need to designate another room. Which means more building. So, let's do that. Whoops. No, cancel that. I didn't mean to do that. Um. I don't want it there either. I don't know where I'm going to put this. I think I'm probably going to put it right here. It's going to be another cramped room. But it's a prisoner's room. Of course it's going to be cramped. It's going to have a door here. And... Nah, that's the only door for now. Um, furniture. He's going to need a bed to sleep. I'm going to give him two lamps and two flower pots. And I'm going to undraft you because you can't haul things, right? Yeah, no hauling. Um... I need you guys to get to work. Go start building. I can't go any faster when there's somebody incapacitated, I think. No, oh, it's letting me now. Um, I can designate that as prisoner bed. And... Then Goofy, I suppose, is going to go and capture him. No available enclosed prisoner marked bed. Well, there is now, so go. Now Goofy's going to run over there and get him. He is losing health over time, but it's slow enough where I'll be fine. And then Leonardo can plant this stuff. Oh, yay, nutrient resynthesis. So now we'll use less food when we go to eat. Next, I can make pneumatic picks, I suppose. Or gun turret cooling. Uh, probably not gun turret cooling. I'm not a big fan of the, of the turrets. Um, oh yeah, you can check between researched and unresearched. Um, pneumatic picks, blasting charges, carpet making. I would like to make carpet making, but miner's picks being 20% more effective can be really useful if you're trying to earn just a little bit more money at, uh, for your comm station when you're trading with people. Oh, wait a minute. I have an idea. You quickly equip that. Just drop him on the floor. There. Now you can carry a pistol and the guy. They can haul pistols, but that means that they won't be able to haul the person as well. I don't know why. Alright, you've got them in there. So now that I've got that, I can go into his prisoner tab. 
I can try to recruit him. I could say no food for you. Uh, I could give him a friendly chat. I could just not even talk to him. I could also give him a mild beating or a vicious beating. Or an execution if I really wanted to. Um, I'm sure... Oh. Alright, I think I know what execution is for. I've never done it before. I've always recruited people with my friendly chatting. I've never beaten people into submission. But I assume that uh, execution will... Where is it? Will increase the rest of your people's fear. He's imprisoned and wounded, so he is very fearful. And in fact, he's even going to be loyal. We've got a 35% chance to recruit him. So, maybe I should just, since he's already got the, yeah, he's, he's already got, um, more fear, enough fear to be loyal enough to join us. I suppose I, I will just continue, you know, feeding him fear, feeding him my fist. Just punch him in the face. Who is set as warden? Leonardo. Oh, here we go. Are you giving food to the prisoner? No, you're just eating it on your own. Isn't, shouldn't the prisoner be getting food? Oh no, he's good on food. Okay. Aren't you gonna go and give him a mild beating? <laughs> Alright, this, I never went over this, this is a boom rat. Um, it's just another normal animal, except that they explode when they die. So they can be pretty annoying if they're kind of roaming around on a battlefield. Because then they, they tend to, like, die. <laughs> oh man. Um, what else do I say? What else do I have to say? That's a good question. You know, I could build a big power conduit and get this steam geyser as well as this one, but that won't be necessary. I kind of want to get more batteries in. I kind of want to make a big hallway and have a lot of batteries so that I can last an entire day when I, I have, like, a solar flare or something. What is this? You have detected a cargo unit from your ship re-entering the atmosphere. It crashed nearby. You might find something useful in the wreckage. Jump to location. Uh, food. Bunch of food. How far away is it? Uh, it's far away. Far enough away. Uh, actually. Well, we've got a bunch of food. We just need to haul it. What are you doing? No, don't eat from food. Just haul all of the food. You don't need to be that dumb. Look, now I've got 79 food. Just carry all that up. And now we can actually feed ourselves. I, I actually, before I make more batteries, I should make a hydroponic station. I call it a station because I'm probably not going to just add another room. I'm probably going to add another building. Whatever, you know, I, I don't really need to. Uh, but I want to. So let's just add another building. Something near the stockpile area. Um, here we go. Here, how big are hydroponic staples? Yep. I want to put it here. I'm going to have just three for now. door there. And do I have enough for a light? Yes, I do, but just barely. Alright, so sun lamps let you grow, like, it gives enough light to grow crops. Oh my god. <laughs> what are his thoughts? Beaten by Warden. <laughs> 14 fear. 
That warden just beat me up. He didn't break anything, but damn, it hurts. Alright. Yeah, that would make sense. He's got a lot of fear. Oh my god, his blood. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, Barton. Fear was the most logical at the time. Alright, I need a power conduit. I don't have enough metal for a power conduit. Uh, I'm sure that'll probably haul that soon. And now they're building hydroponics tables. Another dry thunderstorm. No rain to put out the fire that the thunder starts. Oh boy. Get it, Goofy. <laughs> Goofy the female miner, Zebo the female, Leonardo's the only man here, soon Barton will probably be a man. Do I have you set to recruit? Yes. He's not very happy. Oh, come on, these fires are just growing. They should add some sort of research in the future, like firefighting research, to make firefighting more effective. Because right now, we're literally just stomping out the fire. It'd be great if we could, like, also if they added water as a, a resource that you needed. Oh my goodness, you just, you just re-incapacitated Barton. Leonardo, you're a dick. <laughs> okay, um, I, I'm sorry. I'm going to stop giving you a mild beating. I'm going to start friendly chatting. <laughs> I wasn't aware it would be that bad. Um, right, we need... Leonardo, what are you doing? Eating? Can you haul some of this first, buddy? See how I had to do that, like, one at a time? I wish that I could have just set, uh, all of those to just be hauled at once. Um... And next thing is carpet making. And then I'll make a power conduit. If I connect it like that, it'll get power through here, not there. I'm pretty sure that in real life that would be a little bit less efficient, but it's fine. And now these are available to be worked on. I'm sure I'm probably going to end up like selling these walls at some point and expanding this. Oh man, raiders have landed nearby. We've got Curtis and Long. So Curtis, he's got just a pistol, he's got five shooting, so he's not the best. Illegal shipwright. Alright. Long is a brawler, she punches people. Um, she's got a pistol, so I, I don't want to get her to, I don't want to get her in hand-to-hand -hand combat. However, okay, missed chance per square of distance is 3.50%. Oh my god, Barton, your blood is everywhere. What is mine? 1.25, so I have, like, twice the skill that she has. And now, who had the gun? Goofy? Uh, how does Leonardo have some experience in shooting? He's never even held a gun. Do they start with some of this stuff? That's weird. That is very, very weird. What else is there? Leonardo successfully recruited Barton. Oh, okay. Shooting five, yeah, that changes my story a lot. He doesn't have much health, so maybe I'll keep Goofy on the raider fighting team for now. Mm. The thing is, is that they've got lots of good cover around here. I should probably mine away this rock after I've dealt with these two. These guys have both got pistols. I don't want people to die. Alright. Um, hold on, I need to set that to a normal bed now. 
Spartan. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're a little bit afraid. <laughs> hey, what kind of stuff can you do? Almost everything. Wow, Barton, you're super useful. For now, I'm going to set you to cleaning. Please start with your room. What is this? An eclipse has begun. Alright, if I had solar energy, that would be off right now. However, I've got geothermal energy, so I'm totally fine. Yeah, Barton just going around cleaning stuff up. Look at me, I'm such a genius. Six research. <laughs> um, let's see, I've been going on for about 20 minutes. 20, 20 minutes, 20 seconds, something like that. A little bit more than that, I think, because I didn't turn on my timer right away. What is this? You have detected a cargo unit from my ship re-entering the atmosphere. It crashed nearby. You might find something useful in the wreckage. Jump to location. Just a bunch of food again and some debris. This fire is still going on. It, it's like it's moving away from my house. It wants to go live its own life as a beautiful flame. What are you doing? Just walking around? You're already done cleaning? Fine, I'll set you to everything again. That's what it was at, right? You can also do doctoring, just in case we ever need it. See these plants? The reason why they are growing so slowly is because I can't put lights out here, because I'll short circuit in the rain. However, in here, once people finally decide that they're going to plant things there, I wonder... I don't think that it needs to be a home zone. Yeah, uh, I don't actually need that much. That much home zone. There. Oh yeah! Um, structures. I remember I discovered smooth stone. I was confused before on how to use it, I never really went over that. You can only put it on stone, so if you were, like, mining out your base, then you could use smooth stone. To be, it would be free, it would, uh, what am I saying, it would help you walk on it faster, and it's beautiful, so it would make your villagers, villagers? Colonists. It would make your colonists happy to walk on it. Who just does that? Who says, oh, this is such a beautiful floor, I'm so happy. <laughs> I don't do that. You guys do that? You guys are weird. Am I the weird one? <laughs> Barton, you've got wounds all over your body. How are you still alive? You've got just holes going straight through you. He's just like, well... All in a day's work, on farm. <laughs> Just a farmer. Um, wall. We need to add a comm station. Spans for communications, I assume. Communication station. Um, alright. Uh, buildings. Comms console. Not enough metal. That's okay, I'll build the room for now. Uh, our research bar is halfway filled, so we've got about half of our way to carpet making. There are three colors of carpet that you can get. Um, they all do the same thing, they're just, they look different, so you can choose which one you like best. Uh, dry thunderstorm. Why is it still raining on my screen? Okay, that's weird. Uh, these two are probably gonna get ready to fight soon. You know what I'm gonna do about that? 
I'm going to, rather than add sandbags, I'm just going to add a small wall right here. And that's going to be my cover. Oh, well, so much for that. I still don't know what this talking too long to encode means. I, I hope that it's not something bad. Um, we're actually, my timer is just finished. So, uh, I'm not going to stop right now. I'm not going to be that kind of guy. Um, oh man, who else had the gun? Goofy? This isn't a very good setup. Just go hide behind rocks and shoot. And I gotta hide behind rocks too. Just shoot him. Get him. Alright, he's incapacitated. She. She is incapacitated. Now it's just Curtis. And so one versus two. What an exciting way to end an episode. Uh, 50. Come on. He is pretty resilient. Uh, excuse me. Um, I don't really understand all of this stuff. Is this... Okay, um, yeah, I don't understand that. Oh, are they incapacitated as well? No, he's dead. I don't need to capture them. I already have one person. Alright, well, we've got two more pistols, so now we can arm everybody in our colony. However, if I recruit long, which I don't think I will, I am going to make a prisoner room. I've never sold a prisoner before, but you can, so I, I think I'm going to this time. I'm not sure. I just need a bed. Okay, good. I, I can afford a bed. You two can be undrafted. I'm not going to clean up... Oh, right there. There is no body down here. I was like, I'm not going to clean up this body because it's far away from my base. No, I, I don't need to. Um, th that body is right here. <laughs> Hello, Barton. <laughs> Just think of it, Barton. Just the other day, you were a raider attacking this base. Uh, what are you doing now? Beating the fire out? Alright, well, once I capture this person, I guess I'm probably going to end the episode. Just keep on putting out that fire, guys. Oh good, it's foggy rain, that should put out the fire for us. Um, I can't afford a light, can I? I can afford a light. And somebody, who are you? What are you doing? Cleaning the blood? No, I want you to capture first. That's more important. The fire is out. Traveler named Barber is passing by. He is a military commissar. Commissar? Commissar? Commissary do? That's gonna happen every episode. I'm gonna mistake something or like not know how to pronounce something, so I'm just gonna go like booty doo. Booty doo da da boo boo ba da bow. <laughs> There's something wrong with me. <laughs> well, uh, I am fully healed. That's good. Well, I'm going to take a break. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.